the most exciting aspect of Chinese New Year? The food, again. <laughs> <laughs> Money <laughs> and food. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Red bag and uh, eat special dumplings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the food. I can't really think of anything else other than the food. I think it's a good to have a new start. I mean, uh, the family gathering around. Yeah. yeah. At the main night of the New Year Day, all the family members go outside together to see the fireworks shows. Especially what I like is the fireworks that are a lot smaller and sort of go off uh, all around the streets and it creates a really big noise and a really exciting atmosphere. I would say fireworks, but the thing is that in our city not, it's banned. Yeah, it's banned. No so, fireworks. Yeah. So it's kind of a shame. Sometimes like in Singapore we go to market and it's nice say, you know, you're not hanging out with your relatives but also with our strangers. But we will put on some red clothes so you know everyone is celebrating the new year. It was a fun festival kind of things. We will have a like long chat during the night with our, all our fa big families and we just don't sleep at that night and we just talk with each other and to communicate, to discuss what happens during the last year for the whole year and what's, hap what's happening new, what's happening exciting. And we also make our new year resolution, sort of. It's kind of like a, a must-do thing <laughs> during Lunar New Year. And the next one is to with my mother and father because I haven't seen them for almost half a year. So that, that, that's what I want. <laughs> but the sad thing is that now I don't really get pocket money from my parents. Um, so I, have to, <laughs> I have to give pocket money to my cousins. Exactly. Uh, they, are younger, they are younger than me, so we have to. <laughs> Most of the time you celebrate New Year Eve back at home with your family. But there's one year where my family traveled to Laos and then on the New Year Eve, we're supposed to arrive at one city, but somehow we didn't. We were stuck somewhere like in the middle of nowhere, like in a village. Um, and then with this little restaurant, uh, the servant doesn't even speak Chinese. Um, and then we just ordered like really simple food. But I kind of had a great night and it, it kind of made me realize uh, no matter where you are, like how do you celebrate it, the most important thing is like you're with your family. Yeah.